Gaza Strip. Jerusalem has recently been the subject of a Judaization campaign. There the systematic grave violations of human rights and brutal oppression. To Israel is perpetrating state terrorism. Of Israel's intransigence and defiance of international uh, institutions. And its action as an outlaw state. Heedless disregard for humanity to be. And I give the floor to the United <laughs> Nations Watch. Thank you, Mr. President. As this chamber is discussing human rights in the Middle East, I've just learned, this is a dispatch from Agence France Presse coming out of Beirut, that five civilians were killed today in Syria. Four were killed in the eastern province of Deir Ezzor, where their car was shelled. A fifth was killed when troops shelled the rebel-controlled town of Rastan. And as we sit here, thousands of civilians and homes remain trapped in shelling. Activist Khalid Al-Talawi reports that, quote, many neighborhoods of homes are still under siege and it is really hard for us to get food or medicines. Field doctors are amputating the limbs of the injured because they have no equipment to treat them with, and they can't be smuggled out. Now, this follows the news report over the weekend that Friday was the bloodiest day in the Syrian uprising, claiming 190 lives. Mr. President, why is there no urgent debate for the victims being killed in Syria? Now, I recall being here in 2004 when the Human Rights Commission convened an emergency debate over the death of one man, Hamas leader Ahmed Yassin. Why does one terrorist merit an emergency session, but the five innocents killed just now, today, the 190 killed on Friday, the 900 killed last week, merit nothing? These men, women, and children who were just killed in Syria are Arabs, and most of them Muslims. Yet why is it that we just heard speeches by the Arab and Islamic groups, and they said nothing for their own brothers and sisters? Why has this session devoted an entire day against Israel, and then another day for the whole world combined? in violation of Secretary General Ban Ki-moon's specific appeal for equality and universality when it comes to the agenda. Now, how can it be that we have heard speeches from Jordan, Tunisia, Libya, Bahrain, Venezuela, Pakistan, UAE, Algeria, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Sudan, Iran, Malaysia, Indonesia, Lebanon, Bangladesh, and Kuwait? Yet not one of them could spare a word for those being killed as we speak, as we meet here today. Mr. President, why is there a special agenda item targeting one country, Israel, contrary to the Secretary General's appeal, while the world's worst abusers go ignored and sit here as judges of human rights? Thank you, Mr. President. I thank you.